The year is 2020. The world has been in lockdown because of the coronavirus. In the meantime, another pandemic sweeps the nations, making coffee that requires way too much effort, doing that thing with that Chloe thing, or buying way too much Amazon, Taobao, Lazada, cold brew coffee, Taobao, Shopee and Taobao. But he has left the masses unsatisfied. Is there a hero that can save us from this crazy cabin fever shopping? Is there some light in the Red Shadow Legends? It is a brand new free-to-play mobile RPG. Okay, hold on. Of course, I'm not going to do this to you, loyal viewer. And after shouting out more brand names under a minute than TikTok IG stories that some of your friends repost on a daily basis, I'm looking at you, Xenia. <laughs> I'm ready to introduce to you a story-rich game for millennials that you've probably never heard of, Rage Florence. Bet you didn't see that coming. Whether this game is the final purchase to end them all, well, sit tight and find out. Florence is one of those games called an interactive novel, but I like to think of it as a life simulator. Kind of like The Sims, except if The Sims spoke English. Aquatica, Bimo? Ah, Chilu. And by speak English, I mean the kind we understand, even though truth be told, the characters in Florence do not talk at all, but I digress. If you're a sucker for games with a toy storyline that will make you feel the feels that your Asian parents told you as a child, you cannot show that you feel. If you're a sucker for fusy games with fusy stories like I am, then boy are you in for a treat. Florence is a game that is gorgeous from the get-go with a dreamlike cinematic and a simplistic art style that is beautiful yet painfully relatable. You play as the titular 25-year-old Florence Yo, and it's a story about how girl meets boy, boy meets girl, girl meets cello, boy plays cello, boy had her and hello, his shirt is yellow, can I make it any more obvious? Ooh, is that a porno? You'll need Marie Kondo. And then what follows is Florence, a millennial like you and me, trying to be an adult like you and me. Unless you're still a carefree teen, then all I can say is f Florence showcases scenarios like the monotony of everyday living and the liberating good things that happen when you unplug and listen. It even has a realistic smartphone battery life segment. Come on game, how about offering low power mode? Like many of us, she has a predictable schedule, a stable or weird boring job, parents we love but are periodically tired of, and quiet dreams of something more that we dare not explore. Without revealing too much of the story, what Florence hits the nail on the head with are themes of self-discovery and falling in love. With the awkwardness of first date conversations, to hiding away a colourful part of ourselves because it's not what we should be doing right now, Florence is the perfect game for people who are looking for a story-rich experience. If you love games which makes you invest in a the character, then Florence is hard to beat. The game leaves you with an ache and a longing almost for more. If you're anything like me, you start searching up the publishers and developers to see what else they can offer. What the devs at Mountains managed to do in under an hour of gameplay with Florence is what many AAA big name games build giant franchises over. And then make you download DLC. Stay woke. And with its chapters based gameplay, casual gamers can enjoy Florence's story in short bursts and revisit without losing progress whenever they have downtime. That being said, as a gamer, I find it hard to tell people that Florence is more game than interactive storybook. And while being more interactive storybook than game is not necessarily a bad thing, there is almost no replayability. Have you tried replaying a storybook? No matter how much I toggle my thumbsticks, nothing happens. It can feel on the rails and too linear, and gameplay can be boring if you're looking for a hit of action-packed dopamine at the end of a long day. If that's what you're looking for, then Florence is not for you. But at its core, that's not what Florence is meant to be. Florence is meant for those nights when you find yourself alone in bed with nothing to do, or the times you spend plugged in on your daily commute. It's for the weekends where you sit up in bed and stare at the rainy weather outside the window, neither pensive nor excitable. Until your Asian parents come and lecture you about staring at the rainy weather outside the window without actually closing the window like, God damn it, what are you doing? Florence is meant to be an immersive experience for when you want to remember the shared feeling we all have of falling in love. Florence is available on PC, mobile, and Nintendo Switch, so bring that story with you. Get that millennial fuse. Thank you for watching this episode of Should You Play. Leave any suggestions you have in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and to watch more over there. We are a brand new channel. Keep supporting us.